This is still your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, earlier on, we spoke to Safari Live guide Trishala Naidu about this cutting-edge show that plays on SABC3 on weekdays at 3 p.m. and uh, where you get to be transported as a viewer into the actual wild of the greater Karoo, uh, Kruger Park, rather, the rolling dunes of the Kalahari and the subtropical expanse of KZN. And we get to ask uh, about what it's like mm. uh, working in this production, of course, where you get to receive, as a viewer, real-time responses to all of your questions while enjoying the scenery mm. and the action of the wild. And Trishala is back again with us to tell us exactly what it's like to be a guide uh, for Safari Live and what it all entails. Thanks for staying with us, Trishala. Um, it's an incredible experience. Um, you learn so much and you never stop learning mm. because and it's... You just have books and books and books, and then you realize, oh, but this mongoose that comes to my room actually does this, actually does that. So this constant learning that um, I absolutely love. I always tell people it's my job to learn and mm. then help wow. others learn. And how does one become a guide? Because it sounds like such an interesting and nourishing job. It is. It is. Um, so there's the... Field Guide Association of South Africa, FAGASA, and you would have to get um, some training with them and then you write an exam um, and you do some theory and there's different levels. So once you do level one, mm. you are able to guide. Um, and then with Safari Live or these live safaris, it's more than just guiding because you also need to present and you also need to do this live. Mm -hmm. So there's no second chances. Um, you just, you know, if you pronounce something strangely, you're just going to have to clear your throat and say, excuse me, and <laughs> carry on. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's live. So what's particularly nice is that we have this connection with the viewers. Mm. They know the mistakes we, may, we make. They know the mispronunciations. Um, and it becomes a fun little relationship. Mm. And I quite like that. Yeah. Sounds so magical. My and thing just... is, like, how do you pad time? Because, you know, as live TV presenters, we know sometimes you don't have to maybe, let's say, buy 30 seconds or whatever. I'm, I'm assuming while you're out in the field mm. uh, and, and you found your leopard, but now it's just <laughs> in the tree observing you as you are observing it. You kind of have to <laughs> fill the time with something. No, you have to. <laughs> um, we, we do. Uh, mm. That's why it's such an important thing to have this very... Uh, broad knowledge. So you're not just talking about the leopard, mm. but what tree is the leopard in and why did the leopard choose that tree mm. to sit in? Sure. Um, what is this leopard's territory? Why is this leopard spotty? Why is the leopard the color it is? Mm. Look at this leopard's whiskers. You can go on and on and on and on. That's why I said to you, learning never stops. Mm. So because you... all of a sudden you get this question saying, why are these whiskers on the chin so much smaller than the whiskers on the upper lip? And you think to yourself, well, I never <laughs> thought about that, but I'm going to find out. They, they, there's some crazy questions. What is the pH of this caterpillar's stomach acid? Oh, my word. Um, get some crazy. But you know what? That is what feeds our, our learning, facilitates our learning. Um, and I, I love that nitty-gritty science stuff. I've mm. got a science background and guiding was something that happened afterwards. So I love it. Before we let you go, so we operate with a control room um, here on the show. What's it like on your end, technicality-wise? We also have a control room, mm. Final Control or FC. Um, and FC is situated in Johannesburg. We have the directors there. We have uh, tech there. And uh, anyone else who needs to come into work, obviously, that's a bit difficult at the moment. Mm -hmm. And um, it looks like uh, like a NASA space control room, in my opinion. There's um, many, many TVs or many, many screens. There's this, you know, thingamabobby where they're pressing buttons and all of that. And, <laughs> and then I walk in and I say... I'm just the guide. <laughs> I don't, I... <laughs> Trishala, thank you so much for taking, uh, taking us through this adventurous behind the scenes look at what happens on Safari Live. You and your team are absolutely fantastic and thank you for bringing nature closer to us. My absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure.
Well, you too can own the nature. You can, of course, watch Safari Live happen live in the comfort of your very own home every weekday at 3 p.m. on SABC3. And in the meantime, while you're waiting for today's broadcast, you can also check them out on Facebook at Wild Earth Live.